Mm. Okay guys, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how I glue. Obviously I've got a nice new board here, so I don't want the glue, you know, I, I don't want the glue all over the board. You know, if I put this on here, it's going to, in no time at all, this will be all caked up. So what I'm going to do is, what I do is I have a board here I normally keep at my feet. And as you can see on this board, it's a separate board, it's covered in glue, yeah? This is a, I'll just show you from this side. This is a piece of Formica out of an old kitchen. So it's nice and slidey, it's nice and shiny. Uh, and I use it for two purposes. One is we're talking about at the moment, which is uh, glue. So in time, it's a fairly fresh board, but in time the glue will build up. And all I do is I get a wallpaper scraper and I scrape the glue off. Uh, and then it comes off in big globs, throw it away, and then I can continue gluing. So I'm gonna show you the dual purpose of this board. Now, I don't normally glue like this. You know, I, I, bought, I don't use this glue either. I bought this glue purely because uh, mother stuff's at uh, mother building and I forgot to bring it with me. So I went out and bought this today. Uh, and I would normally use like a pastry brush. I mean, if you look at some of my saddle videos, you'll see what I actually do. So in, for the purpose of this, if I just put a piece of glue on here, now what will happen, ooh, too much. What will happen, is the glue obviously will go all over the board yeah i just went a wee bit far with that there so the glue will go all the way down there and as you can see it goes in the board that's the last thing you want to do is get it all over it. and then that's that one glued throw it to the side obviously i've got glue here and again here as i say i would normally use a pastry brush i wouldn't do it like this at all uh, this is this is a bit messy, but as I say, for the purpose of the video, it's actually probably working out better because then you can see the glue. Uh, it goes on the board, yeah, and then it'll just dry. Uh, and the other thing about it, the types of leather I use, if I did get glue on the opposite side, then it I just it, it just comes off, yeah. So it's not a problem. But you do get glue on the board. I don't want glue on my new board. This will dry off. Um, and I tell you what, this glue really stinks, yeah. It's really, really high. It'll get me high in a minute, I'll start singing. So we'll get that out of the way. Move this out of the way. So the purpose of this board I'm saying is glue. And, uh, and then once this it gets on here, just scrape it off. That's it done. When I'm finished with that, if I'm, I flip it round and I use it for if I'm going to stain. So if I was going to stain uh, a strap up, for example, then this is my strap. Again, I don't want I don't want the stain all over my, my, my board here. Yeah, I want to keep the stain on here because again I'll be working later and I don't want the stain coming off. So I mean, if I did that, it wouldn't bother me. In fact, on this stuff, if you did get it all over your board, just get a cloth and you can see how easily it comes off. Whereas if it goes on your normal board, it sinks into the board. So anyway, so this is what I would do, and it doesn't matter if glue gets everywhere. So if I just flip this round in a second. If I flip this round, then you can see I've got glue uh, down here. Now if that bothered me, normally I wouldn't do it like this again, but if that bothered me, I would just get this, wipe it off, and I can even wet it and wipe it off. I'll just get this a quick uh, seal while I'm at it. I might as well do it, save me doing it for later. Okay, this is just for me, yeah. Now, I've been really, really messy deliberate here. So if I, you know, if I had all this stain over my board, my board would look an absolute mess. Whereas if I use this board, I can just wipe it down uh, and that allows me onto the other one. But at the end of it all, it keeps my board uh, fairly tidy.